Well, it is April 1st. Bills are due. And Ellen, you know, it is so sad that a lot of people just won't be able to pay things like their water bill and their rent. Yeah, such a stressful time, Brad, for so many people. Many Americans are suddenly trying to figure out how to pay all those bills. The Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis estimates that about 47 million workers could lose their jobs during the pandemic. Think about that, 47 million people. That means that millions don't have the means to make payments on time. This morning, we told you about people considering a strike over their rent. KCTV 5's Greg Payne explains why our landlords in this area are concerned. The idea of rent striking has been something that's been talked about all across the nation, including locally here. But we spoke with one landlord who says that that might not be the best idea. I heard from a couple of other landlords today saying that their tenants are calling saying, hey, I heard I don't have to make my rent payment. And that is absolutely not true. Landlord Stacy Johnson Cosby has seen the struggles firsthand. We've had a few tenants lose their job or get their hours cut back. But all they're doing is calling us and we're working out some kind of arrangement. And Stacy says communication is key between tenants and landlords, and she encourages people not to skip out on paying rent. If a person has a legally binding contract, they need to abide by that. Mm -hmm. But we don't need to go on strike. All you have to do is reach out to your landlord and say, hey, I'm running into a little trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, can you work with me? Something Casey Tenants advocates for people to do. But if they are having problems with landlords, they encourage residents to stand up. We are at risk of a complete tidal wave of evictions and displacements on the other side of the moratorium if we don't deal with this crisis right now at a systemic level. In Kansas, statewide evictions and foreclosures have been put on hold. In Jackson County, both have been suspended too. Statewide in Missouri, there is no action to protect people who can't afford to pay rent right now. But evictions are paused currently because the court systems are closed. When courts reopen, landlords can evict again. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News.